Hi guys, it's Cassie. Welcome to my channel if you're new. Welcome back if you're a seasoned subscriber. Today, we are going to be talking about my luxury fashion hot takes, my unpopular luxury fashion opinions. I don't know if I'm ready for the heat. I'm inevitably going to get in the comments. <laughs> guys, if you are new here, my name is Cassie. I'm a self-diagnosed luxury addict. I put out videos on Wednesdays and Fridays, sometimes Mondays. So if you like luxury fashion, then you're probably gonna love it here. So head down there, subscribe, turn on the bell, become a member of our luxury addicted family. When are we going to rehab? <laughs> Never. Guys, are you ready? Let's go. Disclaimer, as is always necessary with these kinds of videos, this, this is just my personal opinions, okay? If you disagree, that is completely fine. The fact that we all have different styles and different likes and dislikes means that the world is an interesting place, okay? It's not that deep. Shall we start? The Chanel vanity case is not it, okay? And I'm talking about the bag that is called the vanity case, not like miniature versions of vanity cases that they're now doing, which I think are absolutely glorious and completely adorable, and I'm totally here for them. No, I'm talking about the vanity case bag. There is so much happening here that I feel is very unnecessary. Okay, firstly, it straight up looks like a kid's lunchbox. Okay, I would have been flexing to the gods if I'd brought that to school when I was 12, okay? But sadly, it is not a Chanel lunchbox. It is an actual bag. There's just so much happening here, okay? It's got like that little lunchbox vibe. You've got a top handle. It's then got a luggage tag. The CCs are doing something different from the rest of the bag. Then you've got a chain. I mean, didn't they come out with one that was like clear, but it was like pink and green. It's just like a carnival for the eyes. There's something a little bit like childish and possibly novelty about it. It doesn't, it doesn't mesh with me. I'm not here for it. I don't see myself ever changing my mind on that or like all of a sudden being into it. And everyone loves it. Everyone out here is like trying to get their hands on one and they keep selling out and everything else. And I'm just like, mm, okay, well you can take my place in the line because um, I'm, a, I'm gonna be over there, okay? The second unpopular opinion, golden goose. Aside from the fact that they look like they have been salvaged from a literal train wreck. They aren't cute to begin with. It's not even like the style is cute, so like I'll get over the fact that they look like they've been torched, you know? No, it, take away the burnt parts and it's still not cute, okay? The weird stars on the side, the glitter once again. My 12 year old self would have been all over this. A glitter shoe, wow, yay, I would have loved that. Ooh, what are we, Jojo Siwa? No, no we're not, okay? We are grown adults and I really don't need a glitter shoe. Crystals, crystals, yes, crystals are different. Crystals are grown up, okay, crystals are chic. Glitter? No. I, and this is the thing, I don't care how comfy they are, I will find another pair of shoes that are cute, that are comfortable. You know, I don't need to go over here for Golden Goose for comfort. I don't get the vibe. I don't get the vibe. I'm happy in myself that I don't get the vibe. It, it continues to baffle me. Every time I see one in person, I'm like, wow, okay, no, people really out, are out here buying this. Okay. Unpopular opinion number three. The Louis Vuitton toiletry pouch is not a bag, okay? The clue is in the name. Please store your toothpaste, your toothbrush in the pouch. This is not a bag, okay? And I say this because of the amount of oh poly dress clad girls standing outside London clubs shivering with their Louis Vuitton heels with the sodding Louis Vuitton toiletry pouch tucked under the armpit is actually worrying. I truly cannot. It has, it has become a staple of the London club rat scene, okay? And those club rats are like 18, okay? I hope if you have the Louis Vuitton toiletry pouch and you're flexing with it as a, as, as a clutch moment, then I hope that you're giving me moments, okay? Because what I'm seeing out here on these streets are very far from moments. I am all here for um, using items aside from what they were assigned for. You know, I get it, good for you, you know, excellent. Not this one, not this one. I draw the line at the Louis Vuitton toiletry pouch, okay? It's not a bag, it's not a clutch. Please don't use it as such. Please use it to store your deodorant and other hygiene essentials. Unpopular opinion number four. Um, I'm just gonna come out here and say it. Louis Vuitton men's is better than women's, okay? I have a question. You know, why are the men's getting better sunglasses than the women's? You know, 
I shouldn't have to go to the men's section for my 1.1 millionaires because the women's isn't giving me fire, you know? Take, I want some of that fire in the women's, please. The colours, right? We don't, it, I, I don't need another rose ballerine, you know? I don't need another blush pink. I need a sodding cobalt blue, you know? Why? Why? Why won't they do it to us? <sighs> the outerwear? Hmm. Don't even, don't even with the outerwear. It's just truly on another level. And this is the thing, while I do enjoy a lot of Louis Vuitton women's, Louis Vuitton men's is just me. It is just fire. Mm. From head to mother effing toe. Wow. Even the shoes. Like, why don't we get some of those trainers designs in women's, please? Please. I'm begging of you. Unpopular opinion number five. Balenciaga is a joke and we are all a part of it, okay? This is the thing. This brand, this brand has been playing us for years now. I just feel like the design team were sat there and they were like, okay, so like a pointed toe. What about if we just made it five inches long? Let's see if anyone buys it, you know? And then people did. The knife toe, what is this new? Is it the Tyrex sneaker, the Tri-X? Abhorrent, truly abhorrent. It is offensive in so many ways. It pains me to look at, you know? But again, I feel like they were like, how do we make the most ugly shoe in the world? Charge for it and have people buy it. Balenciaga literally is just playing the game. The other thing is the fact that they just kind of slap their logo on anything and it works. I'm not entirely mad about it. I think it's smart. I'll buy into it to a certain extent. A, a plain turtleneck sweater that just has Balenciaga written all over it. I'll take it, you know? I'm not, I'm, I'm not mad about it from that respect. But things like, hmm, you know what's a really best-selling bag? The Louis Vuitton Alma. What if we took that exact shape, turned it black and just put Balenciaga on the bottom? <laughs> Let's see if it works. The level of laziness is to a truly commendable amount. You know, actually, I strive to be that lazy in life. Really, I do. Let me know your thoughts in the comments and share with me some of your unpopular luxury fashion opinions so I don't feel like the only bitch here. I'm going to link to another video here in case you haven't already seen it. Have an amazing morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever you are, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys.